Hey folks, Richard Smith here today out in beautiful Snow Camp, North Carolina, which is the home of the Snow Camp Outdoor Theater, the Sword of Peace, and the Pathway to Freedom Place. We want to show you a little bit about the outdoor uh, Snow Camp Outdoor Theater and do a little behind the scenes stuff, showing you things you might not normally get to see. We're going to talk about the rich history that is Snow Camp, North Carolina, so stay tuned. I'm standing here at the William Bill Sizemore Pavilion. This place used to host some incredible events. There were times where we would have bluegrass music playing and the community would gather together to hear the sounds of our area. It was under this uh, pavilion during the summers that we would catch some shade uh, during the 4th of July festivities, the ones that lasted all day. And we could sit down and enjoy ice cream and hear the beautiful bluegrass music that was played. This pavilion holds so many memories for so many. Now it's up to us to save this place. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to church over 200 years ago? You know, they didn't have all the amenities that we have in our modern churches. No air conditioning, no heating. In fact, it looked a little something like this. Behind me, you'll see the Cane Creek uh, Friends Meeting. And this dates back to 1751. And this is the original site of the Cane Creek Friends. You see, it's a simple building. If you could go inside, you would see it's nothing more than wooden benches. See, they didn't need the amenities. They just needed a place to meet together. And this was the place. I believe it would have looked something like the exterior of this building. And I believe it would be a place where the entire community came together. Come on along with us as we go back to the outdoor amphitheater. This was the place where so many magical moments happened during the summer as they had the outdoor plays and people came out to see the stories alive and in action. So walk with us through the woods back to the outdoor amphitheater. Now we're here at the Wilson Amphitheater. You know, on a warm summer's night, you could come out and catch a play out here in the amphitheater. There were plays about history and about life in a time that we had all forgotten. As we look at it now, we see that it's not what it once was. That over time, the things have not stayed the way they were. But you know, Sometimes, sometimes that's when we step up. We breathe new life because we don't want to lose our history. In a place like this, on grounds like this, imagine how many of our family members have come out on a night to see a play. Don't we want our children to do the same? Don't we want to share in such a moment? As they told the story of the sword of peace, as they told the story of the Trail of Tears, as they told story after story on these grounds. Now is the time for us to tell our story. And we tell our story by banding together and bringing back a part of our culture that we cannot lose. We come to these grounds and 
we gather together again so that two generations from now, they share in the same joy that we shared in on a summer's night. So many great, fond memories happened in this place. There were stories told, there was history taught, and there was history made. Now we're gonna make history as we seek to bring this place back. And here is the iconic and unforgettable water tower of the Sword of Peace. Yeah, you know, I remember as a child when we would pull down the road, you'd always look for the water tower because that's where we were going to park to enjoy a day out of the Sword of Peace. It is that image that sticks in my mind whenever somebody says the Sword of Peace. We would gather around here and cars would fill the parking lot as new activities and different activities were going on throughout the ground, especially on the 4th of July. It is what made living in snow camp so special it was a day coming out to the Sword of Peace. As you look at the image of that water tower, let it be burned into your mind so you do not forget a place that holds so much memories.